This is Frank Burke with Dinosaur Rocketry, and today I've got out two models that I built just for fun. Uh, one of my customers has sent me a kit for review of a rocket version of a Hound Dog missile, and uh, so I got the idea to try to see if I could make a glidable version, which is kind of tough because the wing's really tiny, it's got canards up front, so the center of gravity has to be pretty far forward, and then it's got this big turbo jet slung under the bottom and you have to land on that. And there's problems with that and making it strong enough, but I came up with a method that's uh, that worked pretty good. So this is the uh, BT-80 2.6 inch diameter version. This is about 12 ounces ready to fly on E6 motors. Um, it's got a 20 inch wingspan and it's about 42 inches long. And the uh, turbo jet pod, I just used a, a profile of uh, Depron up through the middle to give it the shape from the side, but it's thin and the uh, turbojet's hollow, so it doesn't give a lot of um, air resistance and it keeps the weight lighter. And then I've got a little skid on the bottom here, so it gives the right profile and just uses Elevon controls. And uh, we'll give that a couple of flights. And then I've got smaller version. This is a BT-60 based and this is about 27 inches long and about a 13 inch wingspan and this is just the little 18 millimeter reloadable D2.3 long burn motors and I've done the same kind of profile. The uh, rail buttons are on the side of the uh, turbojet pods and they're out of the way of the uh, servo arms and they don't show up on the top of the model. Uh, six millimeter Depron uh, this is BT-60 and this weighs just a 6 ounces uh, ready to fly. This particular one, um, due to balance, needed the uh, battery and receiver sort of here, so I cut a little hatch, so it's a little magnet hatch, and um, I put some little red striping around it so it kind of looks like an access panel, although that wouldn't really be on the real model. And the, uh, the Hound Dog is a neat uh, Cold War era cruise missile. It was nuclear and uh, B-52s carried one under each wing and they were a standoff missile so the B-52 could launch them from the border of uh, Soviet Russia and um, then it would either go up high and dive down at the last minute or it could go low and do contour terrain following uh, to avoid uh, radar detection and um, uh, it could also do a uh, decoy maneuver, it would go in a different direction and then do a dog leg at the last minute so they couldn't figure out what it was, uh, what its target was. So, kind of a neat, neat uh, thing, kind of like the Bowmark and uh, Snark and um, Navajo missiles of that era, something a little different. So, and we'll give this one a flight too. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Hound Dog Missile. On an E6, taking off in five, four, three, two, one. Nice and gentle, huh? Mm -hmm. It's really a pretty good glide for a tiny wing. Hound Dog Missile Flight Number 2 on an E6. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, really? 
decent glide, especially because it's you know, around 12 ounces. It's not really very light for that size of wing. Dog missile flight number three on an E6, taking off in five, four, three, two, one. This is the mini hound dog on a D 2.3. Taking off in five, four, three, two, one. You good? Mm -hmm. okay. That one I can actually hear whistling a little more. All right, the mini hound dog on a D2.3. Take it off in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, mini hound dog nuclear missile on a D2.3 18 millimeter long burn motor. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Shape's almost like a Bomar wing. Mm -hmm. 